Don't you just love FTKs? I know I do. <laughs> what is going on, you guys? It is your host, Avery, here. Back at it again with another FTK deck profile. Last time, we showed off Tricksters. Now, we are showing off a 60-card Junk Collector Magical Explosion FTK deck. You pretty much whip out your diddly, and you proceed to draw a bunch of cards. <laughs> also, I want to apologize for not uploading in the past four days. Uh, I graduate from college or university, for those of you in the UK, with my two-year degree, my Associates in Arts. I'm doing that today. Super excited. Um, just two more years of school and then I'm done. I can start going into the workforce and all that fun jazz. Uh, and then I'm leaving for a week-long cruise. Uh, I'll probably make an update video later today or tomorrow talking about that and how there's not going to be any uploads throughout that week because I've been dropping subscribers like really bad. I was at 710 a couple months ago. Now I'm at 689. It's It's gotten bad, you guys. But in any case, let's go ahead and jump into the video. This was obviously shown on hashtag Kappa Pride, capital G Senpai's channel. <laughs> and this is <laughs> Magical Explosion 2017 version. <laughs> and uh, just for those of you who may be wondering, like, Avery, why do you always play these degenerate decks? Why do you always play these stupid FTK, you know, play with yourself decks? Well, for one thing, number one, uh, is because of the fact that my channel is kind of loosely based off of degenerate decks. For those of you who have been longtime subscribers, you will know that I kind of got my start with self destruct button because I used to play self destruct button all the time on uh, Dueling Network when Dueling Network was still around. And that's what really kind of helped boost up my channel. And I ended up, you know, getting close to 500 subscribers because of it, just about. Um, and it was a very fun, very consistent deck. And I've shown the deck on the channel multiple times just because it's so much of a fun deck to play. Just being able to troll your opponent and get a draw with them game one and game two. And then game three, you just boost your life points. So these decks have always intrigued me. And I just always think it's so fun to just, you know, do what you want. Your opponent really can't do anything. So let's go ahead and get into the deck here. You've got just two monsters, 57 spells, and one trap, Magical Explosion. Uh, you got Junk Collector, which is actually only an OCG right now, or else you'd be able to play this deck in uh, TCG. But its effect is that during either player's turn, you can banish this face-up card you control, and one normal trap card from your graveyard, and then you activate the effect of the banished trap card as Junk Collector's effect. And then bow, bow, boom, we all know what this does. No more special summon, you draw a card, and then you place a card from your hand on at the top or bottom of your deck. And then if you show by bow, by card effect, you can special summon basically two more bow, bow, boons from your deck, if you're playing three. Um, but in this case, you would never get that effect. It's just meant to help you draw. So moving on to the spells, we got three instant fusion, three lawn mowing, because obvious reasons. Two, spell reproduction. You send two spell cards from your hand to the graveyard, target a spell card in your grave, add it to your hand. So it's a minus one, but you basically get to recycle any spell you want that's in your grave. We got one one day, one monster gate, three hidden armory, three card advance. This card's actually really good. I don't know why people didn't play this when we had monarchs at full power. You look at the top five cards of your deck, place them on top of your deck in any order, and then you contribute some of one monster in addition to your normal summoner set. So, you know, you could go like normal summon, bow by boon, activate card advance, arrange your top five cards. Or, even better yet, activate card advance, arrange your top five cards, summon Bow Baboon, draw a card, tribute for Junk Collector. But majority of the time, you're just going to be reviving these guys from the graveyard because these are hardly ever going to be in your hand. Then we got one Soul Charge, one Reasoning, three Card of Demise, one Upstart, two Swords, three Golden Bamboo Sword, one Monster Reincarnation, one Foolish Burial, three Magical Mount, and three Left Arm Offering, three Toon World, three Into the Void, two Warrior Returning Alive, three Magical Stone Excavation. You discard two cards, target a spell in your grave, add to your hand, just more recursion. One Toon World for the three Toon Table of contents three hand destruction three vertical vertical yeah vertical is a new word guys three miracle fertilizer one broken bamboo sword three uh cursed bamboo sword and one magical explosion extra deck is one raiden idolin beast and one norden you could throw in more level fives in here um just for like you know tributing purposes you know you're playing three instant fusion with two targets i would personally play like another raiden just to have like that other target um so yeah that that's just me though um, obviously the bamboo sword engine because golden bamboo is busted. Um, for those of you who are wondering how you win with this deck, in case you haven't seen the replays on Capital G's channel, you activate lawn mowing, well, in the most ideal situation, you activate lawn mowing, mill a bunch of cards, uh, and then you pretty much just get both of your monster, well, more primarily junk collector. You can activate, like, reasoning or monster gate if you, like, have a monster on the board, 
or we'll say, you know, you go reasoning, they call, let's say, four, the ideal situation that you'll mill even more cards, hit the junk collector, hopefully you'll have magical explosion in the graveyard, use junk collector's effect, banish magical explosion, and then junk collector will burn your opponent for all the damage of magical explosion, because magical explosion does 200 for every spell card in your graveyard. So, very, very fun deck. Um, I'm going to go and test this right now. Um, but I just wanted to show this off to you guys in case you guys wanted to play this and didn't realize that you could download the deck from Capital G's description box. <laughs> and, it, you know, again, just fun decks like this is what makes the game fun, in my opinion. Like, you know, yeah, it's degenerate, but it's like, it's just fun just to mess around with it, you know? Like, if some people just, you know, only think competitive and like, oh, these decks are degenerate, they're degenerate, yes, but it's like, it still provides a bit of a fun factor to the game, in my humble opinion. So anyway, that's it, you guys. Um, keep in mind that the uploads are going to be rather scarce um, because of the fact that I'm going to be going on my cruise and I am graduating tonight. I will try and make an upload video either later today or tomorrow talking about my upload schedule. But other than that, uh, I just want to thank you guys for watching. And be sure to like the video and or favorite it and subscribe if you have not already.